Chapter 6, The Storm. And the bison is still there. Bye, son. <laughs> Not going to college, man. Uh, dust to dust. We're on July 1st. Uh, it was one of those blistering summer days when the asphalt melts at the foot, the grass withers, and the air smothers those brave enough to step outside. Despite the heat, it felt like the whole village was at the, at the funeral. Low rage means it was moving. Low rage. I stood there surrounded by people weeping over their loss, looking at the rosaries they clutched with in their fists. Something tightened in my chest. The body of a hunter had been found in the forest. The circumstances of their death were unclear. There had been more deaths. There had been more deaths over the last days, but they slipped under the radar. We'd been careful in covering our tracks, or nobody would have connected the dots yet. Oh, it's July 1st? Okay. So it's been like four days again? Yeah. The rune. It was the hidden side of the warrior's glory. Funerals and families waiting for people who'd never come back. I could feel the tension seething around me. This death, this funeral, had pushed the community already weary and frightened by the recent disappearances in the forest to the edge. The world was watching. The press who was cautious? The press had swarmed the funerals like flies. I could hear them squawking about uh, eco-terrorism and aggressive vegan activists. The police had uh, torn, cordoned off the funeral and were aggressively searching and detaining any activists they noticed. It had become political. As it always does. Suddenly Bushka White Tower had become politically charged and the hottest place to be in Poland. And it wasn't only local politicians and activists from both sides who'd caught wind of the commotion. The Minister of Environment himself had driven to White Tower to attend the funeral. He was standing next to the priest, conducting the ceremony, surrounded by police and what looked like a handful of bodyguards. The coffin went down, and the crowd stirred. Everyone started lining up to throw a handful of dust on the coffin or put flowers on the grave. I felt someone joining me. Just look at them, said Lisa, joining me. Nobody wants us here. They fear us, but would never admit that. Couldn't blame them, or with low rage I can choose. I wish things were different. I don't know. You're a forest person, come on. I don't blame, I couldn't blame them? Yeah. You don't give a fuck what they think. Come on. Who could blame them, I shrugged. Since we started the protest, people have been disappearing. They would want us gone even if we weren't the guru, she scoffed. From the outside, we're activists fighting for the Pushka. But for the local, we were just strangers barging in and telling them what to do with their lives. Uh, I can gain rage back and say, but we knew, we just knew better. I could lose rage and say we give them time. We had to give them time, or I can just say we are we were exactly that. I I think that you want your rage. <laughs> but we just understand more than they do, I said. The stakes were are too high to let sentiments stop us. Nevertheless, she was right. The crowd was not happy seeing us there. The minister knew uh, how to use that sentiment. I listened in disbelief. I watched in disbelief as the priest handed him the mic. Uh, balanced rage. After 30 seconds, I stood very clearly. I understood very clearly whose side he was on. He spoke furiously about 
uh, how the woods was important to the local economy and how evil forces from abroad were leading innocent Polish youth into temptation. Judging by the applause, it was exactly what the crowd wanted to hear. I can gain more rage by saying he was trying to escalate. It was our move, or I can lose rage, and uh, it was also our doing. Probably just gonna do this one because he's trying to escalate it. And you want your rage? Always want the rage back. I need it. Go ahead. I realized the conflict was only going to escalate. He was determined uh, to push on with the logging. We were waging a war against overwhelming forces, and the explosives would come in handy. We were ready to strike. Big bad wolves. Uh, it was high noon. The sun was at the most at its most merciless, and the world was almost white with heat. The air smelled of herbs, bark, and tree sap. Insects buzzed lazily in the high grass, stunned by the summer sun. We were ready for war. Can I get the rest of my rage? We lounged in the shadows of the trees, resting after a busy night. We were ready for war. I warmed up. I watched the clearing where I rested. Uh, Be vigilant, my old panda. I was going to say, warming up would make the most sense. Oh, I was going to... Or... I, I See, I thought it was like like warming up as like, like by a fire. Mm. Not warming up as in like getting ready for battle. Yeah, I'm thinking it means warmed up, ready for battle, stretching, that kind of stuff. Which makes kind of sense, but also no sense. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. That's why I was watching clearing. Making yeah. sure no one that sneaks up on you guys. My, that was going to be my other option. So we'll just watch the clearing. I watched the clearing with cold detachment, running through the possible scenarios in my head. There weren't many of us, but everyone in, in the clearing knew why we were there. There was an equally big crowd against us, local citizens, hunters, and loggers with banners reading, uh, Foresters save trees from woodworm and forestry equals jogs. There was a priest with a megaphone and his parishioners fill the earth and sub fill the earth and subdue it, their sign declared. I spotted a group of bald, muscular men dressed in black with white pride in Great Poland a variety drawn there by the smell of blood. Bartek was among them. The Pushka was watching, watching us. Pushka is friendly. The Pushka was watching us every time a gust of wind was bringing a wet smell of the forest to my nostrils. I felt her strong, steadfast presence. She knew that we were going, we were doing everything in our power to save her. I thought about my family. For centuries, my family served the Pushka, burning villages and hunting down people who declared to, or who dared to hurt her. And now I was the last guru in my lineage. What legacy did I want to leave behind? I looked at the harvesters. I looked at the defaced harvesters uh, waiting on the other side of the clearing. Loggers milled about them like ants over a disturbed ant hill. I thought about the explosives. They had no idea about the explosives we planted on the machines. Uh, they were set to kill. They were enough to destroy the harvesters. We planned to use them as a distraction. So, yeah, I was to say, what do you want to do? I guess it's for me, I think it would be the best to just destroy the harvesters. Okay. I do agree, actually. You don't want to have everyone always killed. Yeah. Like, you've been killing some people here and there, but a lot of them, it's like, you know... I don't know. Like, it, like, Not pl like It's all been in private. You don't want to publicly start murdering people. Well, not to mention, I was going to say, previously, we were trying to make it so that... Uh, 
if they had to replace equipment, it would get to the point where it was going to be unprofitable to, uh, to log. It's fun. So. We'd set them to destroy the harvesters, hopefully without any casualties. The detonator rested heavily in my pocket. The pressure was almost palpable, and tempers were flaring. The cops were gathering. I looked at my pack. Good. Um, I will look at my pack. Everyone knows what to do, Olga asked, looking at my pack. I'll keep the security guards occupied, nodded Lisa, and I'll guard the Pushka perimeter, growled Daniel. I glanced at the weasels. The weasels were in their position among the protesters as agreed. That left the cops to me. We could just kill them all, or I was ready to fight them. I understand it is a high rage option, but again... Yep. I was ready to fight them yep. if they came at me. So I'll deal with the cops, I said, and then we will burn the machines. That's the plan, Olga nodded with a predatory smile. Uh, the cops were gathering. The police are hostile. Uh, the cops were gathered in increased numbers, and I noticed what some SWAT teams joining them, even... The local hunting club was there, brandishing their rifles. Something was up. It was apparent that they were waiting for something. It had reached a boiling point. It reached a boiling point where the minister arrived for a photo op. I had a bad feeling about, all of, uh, about it all. We attracted some attention, or we could use that. If I was a glass walker, it would make sense if I said... We, we, we could use that. But I'm not the glass walker. Um. Hmm. My panda senses are saying I have a bad feeling, but Kay. we'd attract attention, so. No, we're, you pick whatever. My stomach turned when I saw the black SUVs. I had a bad feeling. My pull, I felt my pulse race. The press is cautious. Journalists swarmed around him, praising his balanced forestry poli uh, policy as they steered clear of the ugly harvesters. In hindsight, you could argue that what happened next set a chain of events in motion that had life-changing consequences for many. Uh, it, all, it all started earlier, but change didn't happen just like that. Uh, but at the moment, I didn't know that. Hmm. It kind of sounds like all the same thing, just whether or not I chose to acknowledge yeah. it. Yeah, it's fun. <coughs> um. I guess the first option? Okay. Uh, but it all started centuries earlier when the first wolf cubs were stolen from the morning wolf mother asked uh, and the wo morning wolf mother asked my four mothers for help everything that happened next the burning villages my grandfather escaping to america my mother running away from my father my uh return to white tower was all a direct consequence the members of my sept had already made uh moved to their positions, and I also had my part to play. I activate the detonator, I threw the first Molotov, or I gave the last speech. My character has not been known to be charismatic, so I am not giving a speech. Detonator? Uh, yeah. I looked at the small box in my hand and pressed the button. It was awesome. <laughs> More glory. Uh, the effect was better than I could imagine. There was a flash and the muted roar of explosions as the harvesters shuddered and burst into flames. 
there were confused screams and we uh, stormed the machines shouting and throwing stones. The final battle. Uh, when the real fight began, the adrenaline kicked in and the world split into freeze frames. I changed or I charged at the loggers. The concept is, is that if you have the... If you're trying to do a protest, do you want to actually become a werewolf when you do this? Or do you want to try to make it look like it's more human-esque? That's where I was going with I charge at the loggers personally, but... Yeah, and that's what I was thinking too, like shifting kind of yeah doesn't make sense when there's like a butt ton of cameras yeah so I charged at the lockers I saw a young man in the work overall staring at me with a terrified expression an axe raised in his hand I overpowered him or I anticipated his movements I kind of want to just go with the willpower okay again health is kind of yeah. I stepped to one side and his axe side through the air. He had no idea what to do next and it was easy to beat him into submission. Okay. Again, yep. The cops were coming. Shifting is a last ditch effort. Yep. At this point. Uh cops were running our way, shouting orders, batons raised, but red faces red with anger. I kicked their asses or I made them run. Either way, I'm losing a health. Yeah. So it's a health or a willpower as well. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of want to go with this one. Because. Yep. I'll make them run. I gritted my teeth and smashed into them, punching and kicking until they dropped their batons and ran. I turned and faced the SWAT team. Yep. Still not changing. Yep, no, I'm agreeing with you. A SWAT team appeared in full riot gear, their faces grim behind their visors, their guns uh, ready to pepper us with rubber bullets. I attacked the enemy, or I stopped from them from advancing. <sighs> They're not really there to over... Like, I don't feel that they're there to overtake. Like, to advance. Then attack them, yeah. Your choice. Yeah. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. That was three health. Yeah. But you got glory out of it. I looked at the wall of shields again, gritted my teeth, and attacked. I remembered their scared faces, my fist pummeling their shields, the cloud of pepper spray, the burning of my wounds, but I was relentless and finally... The formation broke. I assessed the situation. Yep. <clears throat> now you have to be careful not to take another point of health because you'll shift no matter what I think. Yeah. I looked around the battlefield. The situation wasn't looking good. The police were pushed forward and the protesters were retreating. I wouldn't it wouldn't be long before they were concerned, beaten and dragged off. Cornered. Beaten and dragged off. We need something to turn the tide. I point to the retreating minister. Uh, I led the charge at the harvesters. Uh, I decided to go back and save my friends. Hmm. I kind of want to go with the high rage, but I don't know what that's going to entail. Yeah, see, that seems like you're going to beat the shit out of the minister, yeah. which uh, part of me is like thinking that may be extreme. Yeah. Or, but then it could also be like, hey, we need to get to him. Yeah, but again, what were you going to do with him? Beat yeah. the shit out of him? Like, that's what I say. Like, it, it seems like it may be too extreme. Yeah. Which, you know, I can see going back and helping your friends. Yeah. So I'm assuming by friends they mean my sept. Yeah, who's just, you know, trying not to change. But, yeah. Yeah. Live to fight another day. Know when to do a yeah, yep. retreat. Uh, the cops were closing on a group of activists, heavily equipped men against teenagers, old women, and clueless hipsters. Batons above appeared above the crowd 
and then disappeared again. The air was heavy with pepper spray. The cops were blinded by rage. This was all an excuse for them to vent their daily frustrations. They didn't care why they were there or who they were beating. They just enjoyed the violence. It was time to act. The Arun, and I was fed up with the oh, with overthinking it. I was it, I was Gaia's rage, and it was time for revenge. So I killed them, or I beat them to a pulp. Or so I focused protecting my friends. I don't think killing them is a good choice. No, it's not. And I think beating them to a pulp is kind of in the same vein. Yeah. Yeah. Because now you look like the hero, kind of idea. Yeah. I don't know. I started running. The cops... Ooh. Shit. Uh, the cops reached for their pepper spray and tasers. It hurt, and I'm yeah. forced to change. The Krenos, the war form. I spasm as my bones grow and reset. Claws break out uh, uh, from my fingers and fangs sprout from my mouth. I taste blood. Uh, I roar in pain as muscles move under my skin. I grow. I'm eight foot. I'm an eight-foot-tall killing machine. Pepper spray stings my nose and eyes, and the electric shock hurt. I push through until I am standing between my friends and the police. I stand my ground. Yep. This, I think, is just now a lot of roaring. But. I might not get that option. <laughs> I brace myself and claw at the charging officer. There's many of them, but I have time. Because I have zero health. Suddenly, I realize I'm still bleeding, and my wound... My wounds aren't healing anymore. There's pain and darkness. 